monitor price competition here in the Philippines is getting tight recently. And yun din yung dahilan kung bakit hindi na ako nagre-release ng mga alternative subpar brands dahil hindi na rin sila reasonable option in the future. Especially that meron ng mga ViewSonic and other mainstream brands na nag-release ng mga models that comes to the price to performance competition. So, sobrang lapit na nung difference. It's not like before that it's 7K and 14K yung pinakamalapit na mainstream brand. Right now, it's only 1K, 2K, 3K. With that kind of difference, better na lang na mag-ipong ka pa ng konti or dagdagan mo na lang ng konti yung budget mo and settle down with a more trusted brand pagdating sa yung monitor. Especially that monitor contributes a lot in terms of your gaming experience. Now we have here the ViewSonic VX2705. It is the cheapest at a 1440p resolution, IPS display, 1ms MPRT, and yes, 144Hz. Now dun pa lang masasabi na natin na recommended tong monitor na to. Kasi sobrang mura niya, sulit niya, with that kind of specification. Siyempre, hindi yan para sa lahat. Let's find out more details if this is really a sulit monitor that you may consider. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so let's start this quick. Looking at the physical structure of the monitor, makikita nyo na meron siyang decent thickness and then medyo hindi siya ganun ka-aggressive na design. Unlike with other gaming monitors, makikita nyo na medyo may mga RGB pa sila, premium IPS monitors or kind of accent that it may look gaming. Pero with this ViewSonic, it's just like an office monitor na loaded ng mga high-end or gaming specifications. Other than that, meron din siyang uh, decent stand, pero hindi po siya adjustable. You can just tilt the monitor. And then, a metal alloy base that is covered with plastic. And with the base, I think it's fair enough to handle the 27 inches size if you will do some minimal movements sa yung table. Then, in terms of ports, meron siyang uh, audio jack, 2 HDMI, and 1 display port. Then, at the other side, yung kanyang power port. Overall, the design is quite competitive compared sa other 27 inches at a 15K below price point. Then, pagdating naman sa kanyang OSD buttons, that is supposedly joystick type. Dahil uh, other monitors at this price point, ganun na po yung uh, design. Pero with this, it's still classic. And uh, kung ganito sana yung ginawa ni ViewSonic, dapat sana nandun sa may bandang side. Okay ko yung ganito, pero dapat adjustable yung stand. So, a bit of a struggle and hindi siya ganun ka-user-friendly for everyone. Ang pinaka-importante dito is yung kanyang panel. Kasi pwede naman tayong bumili ng adjustable mounts dahil VESA mount compatible naman po itong ViewSonic VX2705. Then the speakers are positioned at the bottom. It's good na hindi siya nandito sa likod or uh, kung nasa likod siya, compromise yung uh, volume at the same time yung sound clarity. Now moving on sa ating panel, syempre this is a 1440p resolution. I settled down with a AAA game and Cyberpunk po yung nilaro natin para mas makita natin yung advantage from a 1080p to a 1440p. More details, mas dense yung pixel, mas marami kang makikitang detalye na hindi mo masyadong napapansin sa isang 1080p resolution. To be more specific, madalas mo mapapansin pag higher yung resolution is mas refine yung edges ng mga character or other uh, subject or objects sa ating mismong laro. And then syempre, this is an IPS panel kaya we are expecting more in terms of viewing angle. And that is what we really appreciate when we move the camera from the leftmost part of the monitor going to the rightmost. Viewing angle is one of the most appreciated feature ng isang IPS panel. Aside from the uh, more vibrant color and at the same time, given that this is a 1440p resolution, syempre yung details. And there's a consistency in terms of color at any viewing angle compared sa VA panel na pwedeng magkaroon ng color shifting or with a TN panel na sobrang narrow 
ng viewing angle. Given that this is also a high refresh rate monitor at a 144 Hz, we also tested FPS games like PUBG. Diyan din natin ma-appreciate yung 1MS MPRT. Well, if you have tried premium monitors na IPS with 1MS MPRT, of course, you may expect that it will be the same with this ViewSonic. Pero sad to say, there are things na hindi ko masyadong may papakita sa inyo kasi wala naman tayong response time uh, checker or tester tool para at least mabigyan ko kayo ng benchmark or specific figures. Medyo may mga makikita tayong motions or movements na hindi ganun ka-accurate compared sa mga nakikita natin sa premium monitors. So I'm just trying to warn you guys that if you are expecting something in terms of response time compared sa mga premium monitors, iba pa rin yung mga worth 25k and above monitors compared to this uh, ViewSonic VX2705. And talking about response times, you may still improve it naman by choosing the uh, advanced mode or ultra fast mode sa kanyang OSD buttons. And speaking about gaming experience, this monitor is also AMD FreeSync Premium. And kung uh, NVIDIA naman yung video card mo, this is also G-Sync compatible. Though it's not certified by NVIDIA, pero as we tested the monitor, and given the reliability of the brand, most likely pati yung mga makukuha nyo ring monitors are NVIDIA G-Sync compatible. Then pagdating naman sa kanyang ghosting, it's quite acceptable naman siya compared sa mga other budget monitors sa ganitong price competition. Now another thing that I see with this monitor is yung kanyang backlight bleeding. It's a bit minimal compared sa mga subpar alternative monitors like uh, those uh, cheap monitors I have uh, shown in this channel. Pero compared sa mga mainstream brands or other premium models ng ViewSonic, medyo mas evident siya. And dito sa sample na meron ako, medyo mapapansin mo siya at the topmost left part ng monitors. Maybe you may think na since IPS po yung monitor nyo, baka IPS glow lang yan. Pero uh, the difference kasi is pag uh, backlight bleeding, medyo isolated po siya. And with this monitor, medyo makikita mo siya near the corner. Malapit dito. So somewhere this part and up to this part. So hopefully nakikita po yan sa ating camera. Kasi medyo may struggle din pagdating sa review ng monitors. Medyo iba yung nakikita ng camera sa nakikita na talaga ng uh, uh, mata natin. Uh, we cannot call this a monitor review kung hindi natin i-check yung kanyang color gamut rating. And uh, with this specification, this is a 130% sRGB. And naipakita po yan ng ating Spider X Pro. 89% pagdating sa Adobe RGB and 93% pagdating sa P3. And comparing to other premium model, which is Asus Tough, nasa around 25K, almost on par po ang kanilang uh, result. And then compared naman sa pinakamurang 1440p monitor before natin pinakita tong ViewSonic, the Gigabyte, na VA panel lang po siya, medyo inferior po yung 1440p na Gigabyte. Pero that is a VA panel Gigabyte. So there's a bit disadvantage in terms of panel. Pero since that is the cheapest variant next to this in terms of mainstream uh, brand, then... Um, ViewSonic is the clear winner kung ang pinag-uusapan natin is panel because the Gigabyte also have this better uh, stand and uh, aesthetics or structure compared to this na a bit classic lang yung kanyang looks. Pero overall, in the end of the day, what matters most is yung display. So ViewSonic is still the winner for me kung ang pinag-uusapan is Gigabyte versus ViewSonic. Maybe there are things that I have stated that are a bit subjective for me or to you, pero Still, I'm just giving you awareness of what you may expect from the cheapest 1440p monitor. Now, my final say about this monitor is I may recommend especially that it is a reliable brand na ViewSonic. ViewSonic is in the market for decades. Before pa nakilala yung mga MSI, Gigabyte, Cooler Master, um, Asus, or other brands out there, meron ng ViewSonic sa ating market na nagmamanufacture ng monitor. So in terms of reliability, wala tayong pag-uusapan dyan. Maganda po ang kanilang portfolio pagdating sa mga monitor. It's just that this specific model targets the budget consumers. Kaya there are some features that are compromised, pero it will not also disregard the fact that this is still a good monitor at this kind of price point na 13K more or less. So I may still recommend this ViewSonic VX2705 Hopefully nga lang, pag nag-adjust yung mga other models ng ibang brands, 
at bumagsak yung kanilang presyo where this monitor will be a bit unreasonable na siya na consider pa by that time. Hopefully, mag-adjust din siya ng price pababa. Dahil kung hindi, there are still alternatives out there that comes with this same specification and mas maganda yung kanyang performance at the same time yung kanyang structure. Same with the ViewSonic. There are still other models of ViewSonic that is way better than this. So hopefully, ViewSonic will manage to adjust. Kasi yun yung nangyayari sa mga previous uh, videos or monitor reviews ko dito sa ating channel. They are the cheapest. Pero dumating na sa point na meron na mga ganitong brands na sobrang mura na nila to consider those monitors that I've uh, shown here in this channel before. So those monitors are not any more relevant or reasonable for you to consider. Kung meron na ito, consider this. So same with this monitor, yun din yung sasabihin ko. In the future, if meron ng mas magandang model or alternative, consider those. Hopefully, we can cover those as soon as possible if that time comes. Pero given na pandemic ngayon, it may take a year or two siguro bago magkaroon ng adjustment sa mga pricing ng ibang brands to compete ViewSonic sa bang for the buck performance. So that's it mga kaibigan. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. <music>